child-friendly science experiments. Hope you enjoy. Our first experiment is a rocky water experiment. Yeah. Basically, all you're going to need is five cups and three of the cups are going to be filled with food color. And those three cups are also going to be filled with water while the two cups in the middles are going to be empty. All you're going to do is pour in some lukewarm water or room temperature water about halfway through the cups. And then we're going to add some food coloring. And then we're going to add around two to three drops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can... It's gonna be good. And around three drops into the middle one. And our last one is green, but we have a powdered one. So we're going to put around one eighth of a teaspoon amount of the green powder. The next step is to get around four pieces of paper towel and you just fold them up so you guys fold them. And let me just demonstrate what you're gonna do. You fold one piece twice in the hot dog way and you put it like this. It's okay. Okay, you put this one in. In here. Now we wait. And while we're waiting, we're going to get on with another experiment. The next experiment involves a <laughs> diaper. Um, we're going to use a clean diaper and all you do is you make a small slit through the middle of the diaper but not all the way through, just like on the top layer. Basically you just try to cut through this top layer and you're going to find a little powdery thing inside of the diaper called absorbent. It's the thing that absorbs whatever enters the diaper. You have to fill it up with this um, powder-like absorbent about a little less than halfway through the glass. Next, you pour in water. The next step is to wait about 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and watch the magic happen. It's only been a couple minutes, but the mixture is already getting super thick. It's absorbing all the water, and it's not even like powdery anymore. Yeah, I'll update you guys when something else happens. It's like we're broken. How does it feel, Adam? Ew. What is it? What? <laughs> it was the plan piece. <laughs> He's like, why are you using my diaper? This is just diaper. Oh. The next experiment is called a volcano. All you're going to need is baking powder, white vinegar, a vase or a jar, <laughs> and a tray to clean up your mess. First up, you're going to put the jar into the pan. pan. Glass pan. Glass pan. <laughs> Next, you're going to add two to three tablespoons of the baking powder. What color food coloring do you guys want to use? Yellow. 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 And um, now we're going to add the yellow food coloring. Enough. Okay, that's enough. I think that's enough. Oh my god. They said two to, not two to three, six to seven drops. This is how it looks. So far. So far. 
<sighs> okay, I get half a cup <laughs> of white vinegar. You have to put on your goggles for this one. And quickly pour in the vinegar. Whoa. So cool. Is it pretty, Iba? It's fizzing. And it smells. Mm. Not that appetizing. Is that better to that? Maybe. So it's yellow. Is it cool, Iba? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you guys want to try another color? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the next colors we're gonna use is red and blue. This time they wanna use two colors so they can mix them together and make like a purplish. Mm -hmm. okay. And now red. <laughs> red. One of our partners had to leave <laughs> for a little break, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So our Partner has come back. I didn't do you want to pour? Okay. Careful, careful, careful. Hold on. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! That was much better than the first time. Splatter. Why is the color like this? Yeah, it's cool. And Red, some of the food coloring didn't completely get mixed in. How does it smell? I didn't smell it. Uh, Don't put your face in. Don't put your face in. You. You? <laughs> yeah, it's the vinegar. This was a success, right guys? Yes. yes. For our next, for the next experiment, you're going to need a lemon, baking soda. <laughs> He's really mad at me. I don't know why. Okay, all you're going to do is... Okay, okay, you'll do the color. Do you want to do this too? Okay, I'll do this one. Okay, all you have to do is punch the lemon with a fork so you can get all the pulp and the juice. Because currently this lemon is a little bit dry and crusty, but as you slowly punch it, it's gonna get softer and mushier and have more juice. Whoa. Okay, now I then put one drop of the, the I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. food coloring. I didn't That's see. good. Now I'm gonna mix it in. Do you wanna put a little bit more? Yeah. Okay, put a little bit more. Okay. This is how it looks. Mm -hmm. Keep mixing. You can add a little bit more food coloring if you want. Next, once again, our trusty baking yeah. soda. Yeah, yeah. You take mm -hmm. a, a teaspoon of soda. baking soda and you put it on the lemon. You pour it. Spill out the color. Listen, listen. You can see it fizzing up. Ooh. Whoa. I even look. What color? No. Hmm. No. No. Interesting. There's a chemical reaction going on between the acidity of the lemon and the baking soda. That's the same thing that happened with the vinegar volcano because vinegar is really acidic combined with the baking soda causes a chemical reaction. No, I didn't. No. So, update on the diaper absorbent. How does it feel, guys? It still feels like slush. Like Aiden, how does it feel? Slush. It's a really cool thing to play with, and it's really safe. You can just play around with it. Ooh, yeah. it feels so good. I really recommend trying this if you have toddlers and babies at your house who still wear diapers. <laughs> The next experiment, we need half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. We 
used 3% and some yeast and also blue food coloring. Once again, you will need a little tall cup and a tray to keep the, all the mess inside. First of all, we're going to put our half cup hydrogen peroxide. So then a few drops of food coloring. Mm -hmm. One. Some. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we forgot to mention another ingredient, which is dish soap. You're just gonna need about like one or two squirts. So squirt the dish soap. Ding. Ding. Swish it around a bit. Okay, you can swish it around. <laughs> Mix three tablespoons of very warm water with one tablespoon of yeast. Stir to dissolve the yeast as best as you can. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna put it in there. Yeah. Okay, you can put it in. Oh. Sure. And how does it smell? Covered up. Mmm. yeah. Okay. Sure. Just mix it a little more and wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. Now you want to. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't this way and this way. Yeah. Yes, I'm. Okay. Okay, I'm holding this. Whoa. Don't touch it. It's supposed to be like hot or something. Whoa. It's elephant toothpaste. I don't get why they called it that. Yeah. Whoa. Don't touch it. Oh, it is You're warm. You're not supposed to touch it. I love this. It was super cool. And we use 3% hydrogen peroxide, and a lot of other people use like. 35% so I wasn't really sure if this was gonna work but honestly it worked mm -hmm. and our hydrogen peroxide was like an anti-infection treatment first aid kind so this next and final experiment involves cocoa powder hot chocolate powder or cocoa powder or chocolate powder whatever you call it. And all you need is a toothpick, mm -mm -mm -mm. a bowl of water, and, and a spoon. A spoon. <laughs> Behind the scenes. <laughs> it's really sad. <laughs> so I'm gonna try with the bigger spoonful. Okay. And then we are going to prick our do you see that it's like unraveling because uh, for some reason the water slides right off the cocoa that's really cool let's try that again let's see if it works a second time it probably did do you see that no 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 it didn't even get wet because you didn't put it okay no Oh, it still works. Yeah, like the top layer is a little bit. I mean, oh, how are you holding the phone? Thank you for watching our video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and try all these experiments. Bye.